Hi there. Is this the final straw? Do you want to move so far away that you can brag about it? Would you rather tear out your brainstem, walk out into the middle of the nearest three four way intersection, and skip rope with it, than continue living where you do now? This is Captain's Vlog number 8899-00L. And I am here to tell you that telepathy is real. <laughs> telepathy is the official language of the Galactic Federation of Light. How does telepathy work? It's simple! Ah ha ha! But how does it work? Listen! Hear me now and believe me later. Brain-to-brain -brain communication is so much more efficient than brain-to-vocal cord to ear to brain communication. Oh, let's keep it simple, stupid. Earth humans have difficulty understanding the concept of telepathy because their brains are teeny tiny. Allow me to demonstrate. I am now speaking to you with telepathy. My brain is way, way out here in the furthest reaches of space. And your puny brain is down there on Earth. My large brain is sending thought words. Telepathy equals thought words. <laughs> They're words of thought in telepathic form. It doesn't even matter which language I speak. And for that very reason, it is the official language of the Galactic Federation of Light. It's preferred nine times out of 10. Nine out of 10 galactic overlords prefer telepathy over Okay, okay. Let's take a step backwards now. Let me explain in a way your primitive Earth people can understand. Oh, oh, hmm. Yes, yes. I, I think this will demonstrate. It's just like when you speak to your friends into two cans with a string tied together. You pull the string taut. One of you speaks into a can and the other holds a can up to their ear. The voice goes into the tin can, reverberates along the string, and the voice vibrations travel along the string until they get to the other can, where it vibrates that can, and your friend can hear your voice. It is almost exactly like that with telepathy. Only the cans are really your brains, and the string is Telepathy! Sure, sure. It's only slightly more complicated than that. But if I went in the hows and whys of decoding stereotypical EEG activity, decoding the brain's electronic thought formation, beaming it electromagnetically across time and space only to recode it properly into the synapses of the recipient, well, your brain might melt into a puddle because let's be honest here these are big brain concepts you leave the big thoughts to the big boys and you stay you stay complacent with your little teeny tiny thoughts and this is exactly why when Bettina Rodriguez Aguilera tells you that she has seen and talked to extraterrestrials hmm maybe you should just give her some benefit of the doubt Let's try it, shall we? Let's put some of this theory into practice. Follow after me. How to become telepathic. Oh, number one. Tune out all of your physical senses. Try playing some deep space music through your headphones and put on some blackout goggles. This will allow you to focus more deeply on me. Plug in your star nightlight and really imagine our spacey connection. Number two, stretch out your muscles. 
Stretch! Big stretch! Oh yeah! Trying to receive a telepathic message requires a lot of mental focus. Much more than your puny brain can handle. So you need all the help you can get. You may want to try pausing this video right now and visualizing your brain getting bigger and your beard growing longer. There's a big difference between being focused and straining. Straining is what you do on the toilet. Number three on your journey to telepathy. Meditate to calm your mind. Um, um, pretend the rabbits have taken over. Wear loose fitting clothing and sit upright in a comfortable position. Inhale and exhale slowly. Of anything that is not 100% to Space clear your mountain mind. land. Oh, you're coming along nicely. Clear your mind of anything that isn't the glorious in with the good and some out of the space in mountains and space man. man. Oh, out with the ugly Elon Musk. Imagine scattered random, unimportant thoughts leaving your mind as you exhale. And when you take in a deep breath, mm, think of beautiful eyebrows. Number four on your journey to telepathy. Visualize me. Seriously, I cannot emphasize this part enough. Close your eyes and imagine me as clearly as possible. Then open your eyes and admire my picture. Close your eyes and admire me behind your eyelids. Oh, you are infatuated with me. Close your eyes and silently try to count the number of beard hairs in my lustrous mane of flowing locks. This also works if you can't sleep at night. Trust me. Number five. Imagine how it would feel to communicate with me. The one and only Space Mountain Mountaineering Man. Focus on these feelings and believe that you are creating a connection with me. The Space Mountain Man, the one who you admire most in this world and out of this world. And finally, once you have mastered the first five steps of telepathy, and only then can you proceed to the sixth and final step. And that is to accept my message to you. Imagine this message ping-ponging through the stars and across the universe before landing inside your tiny brain. When you receive my message eye, in your brain, accept, accept and believe the words that, that I am telling you. That you have just accepted a telepathic message from I, the absolutely incredible Space Mountain Man. Now, I am going to speak to you telepathically. Listen with your mind. Practice on animals. If you believe you can do it, you're halfway there. I'm speaking to you now telepathically. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Space Mountain Man channel. Tell your friends, spread the word. Uh, I hate this channel. No! No! Tentacle Acres, where happiness is just a suction cup away.